What's up guys, we're out here. We're gonna film this Kelderman video for you guys. Show a little rundown on the Kelderman, rundown on just how it works and price, cost, etc. And uh, let's get into it. Starting it off, we've got the uh, six to eight inch Kelderman. And uh, it goes up to 12 and down to three. It sits at seven at right height. Right now I've got it squatted in the rear and aired up in the front just to kind of show y'all the travel it has on it. So this is all the way up right here and these are 2616s on 35s and then back here this is all the way down right there see that bag right you there you see that bag completely down it, so it's got reservoirs shocks this is the uh sensor so it knows what height to put it at if the truck's at an angle it's got a uh, Come at sway bar, new steering components. It's got uh, two steering stabilizers. I got an upcountry fab um, diff cover on it. Don't worry, guys, by truck season. All these little rusty things and stuff will be completely coated in white or whatever, and you won't see that. But the salt and stuff here is pretty bad this year. It's usually not too bad. Um, I am gonna be doing a 20 plus for a new conversion. Um, I'm not completely sure when I'm gonna have that done, but hopefully by Fitzgerald performance, y'all will no longer see a 19 platy grill on here. If any of y'all watching and want this grill, hit me up or the headlights or the grill bars. I'm keeping the emblem, putting it on the new one, but I'm gonna do a 21 platy grill with a, a painted surround. All the all the all the black components on will be painted and leaving the chrome, but uh back to the suspension i've got it's got it comes with a four link so it's got a four link this is just some uh all the creamy stuff is just for the rust to clean it up it's got 10 middle tennessee rock lights per wheel well Thank you. um i do do powder coating myself so these are powder coated. The uh, it comes with a a cross member for the transmission, as well as a billet plate up in there. I don't know if y'all be able to see it. Probably not. not. Probably not. But uh, it's I, in there. I, I do worry. still have a front drive shaft. Oh, so most trucks. Most too. trucks don't. The Kelderman kit does come with a, uh, a new front drive shaft and that one does not rust, just like the aluminum uh, drivetrain drive shaft. It's got a, a rear four link as well, right there. It comes with frame plates for the rear, the front. I'm um, gonna we'll be doing frame plates soon. I'm not sure exactly who I wanna go with. Uh, Y'all let me know who has the best frame plates for uh, the front end on 17 19s And then here's all here's the shocks. It's got reservoir back here uh, Smaller bags in the rear than the fronts do all powder coated Underneath the truck I've got some I got three air horns of Texas horns. Everything's powdered under here I've got a uh, up country fab diff cover in the rear and then everything is powdered as well uh, the horns are sitting under the air management box with all the compressors. There's a tank up in here Tank up in here two more tanks in the center and then one more tank on the other inner fender and then uh, It does come with the little air truck right here so you can fill up your tires or whatever you need to fill up um, And that's pretty much it on the suspension pretty simple uh, you ask me yeah, it's, it's, there's not too too much to it. I mean, it looks it looks pretty. It looks good. It's not overly complicated. Uh, we'll get some clips of it going up and down, stuff like that, leaning it, so y'all can see that. Uh, I'll show you what all had to get wired up in the engine bay. I'll show y'all the air management system in the cab and on my phone, and then uh, we'll see y'all then. So up here in the engine bay. Uh, this group of wires right here all runs across and they clean it up nicely and that all just goes to 
uh, the air management system in the cab and then the management system for the tanks and all that in the rear hey that's pretty much it on it uh, it's got firestone bags they're not too too expensive if one does bust uh it rides super good a lot a lot better than stock now i do have three inch spacers on 16 wides and rubber bands so it could be better but like you throw my stocks on this thing without spacers or even with the spacers it rides like you're in you're on a cloud it just kind of floats around but uh there she is that's kind of a rundown on everything uh, i'll show you all the air management system in the cab and how that works uh, we'll see y'all all right so here's the air management system it's in the uh, sunglass holder port just kind of pops in like that uh they did have the orientation flipped around same with the screen so i took it apart and i switched the orientation of the screen as well with the buttons so it's all vertical like this and then basically just to use it you've got the middle button as you can see that's uh that's ride height so you double click that now the truck just went up sets all the bags to seven inches which is what i have it set to for ride height and then you've got buttons all down both sides and then all these buttons in the in the middle so you hit this one you can see on the screen it goes up double click it takes the truck up to maximum height now the truck will actually go higher than that but you have to control the bags manually by clicking on those right there or right here which controls the front left bag front right bag rear right and rear left right here and then each one has two buttons on it one is for the for the to go down and then one is to go up and then we can take the truck down by hitting that right there now the truck just went to preset low and then you hit this one right here and that one will air the truck completely out but we're going to uh, jump out and show you I'm gonna do this exact thing I'm gonna make the truck go up put it to ride height make it go down and lean it left to right just so y'all can see outside the truck what that looks like and just kind of get an idea and uh, we'll see y'all all right so uh, we're gonna show you how this works so truck is leveled right now or at ride height and we're going to air it up so there it goes air it up And now uh, we'll take it on down, which is this one. So we'll show you. Sorry for the compressor, but uh, we'll show you all the rear now. I'll take it up. And now I'm gonna lean it to the side, so Matt's gonna go up there to the front, BJR, and uh, I'm gonna lean it for you. Go like in front of the truck, so you can tell. You can see it right there. Oh yeah. And there it goes. And there you go, truck is leaned out, and uh, that's gonna wrap up this video guys thank you for watching and uh like and subscribe drop a comment down below any future vids you want to see and uh we'll get those done we're uh still trying to push out as many videos as we can and get this thing going guys um if you have any questions or anything about the truck just hit me up on instagram tiktok it's all whitey tidy productions it'll be in the description uh we'll see y'all later peace